Do you see what I'm doing? I'm painting. Yeah, I'm actually painting just a regular cardboard box. Check it out. See? I took this cardboard box and I'm painting it. Do you know what I'm painting and making? I'm actually gonna make a lemonade stand. Yeah, I love lemonade. It's so yummy. But a lemonade stand isn't used just to drink your own lemonade. It's so then you can sell lemonade to others. <laughs> yeah. So the first thing that you have to do is make a very good looking lemonade stand so then everyone will want to come try your lemonade. So now that it's all painted, I have these yellow triangle ribbons. <laughs> and if I put them on here on the top, it will spark some more customers. <laughs> okay, let's put some tape right here. There we go. Wow. All right, you see these yellow triangles? Yeah, what is the color yellow that you can think of? Lemonade! <laughs> also, the sun is the color yellow. Okay, here we go. And then we actually have a little bit more of this. Wow. Have you ever tried lemonade before? It's really tasty. It's weird because if you just eat a normal lemon, it's really sour. Oh. <laughs> but if you add a lot of water and then some sugar, it'll sweeten it right up and make a nice refreshing drink. Okay, how about right there? Whoa, it looks so good. All right, we have our lemonade stand, blue and orange, my two favorite colors. We added the yellow banners to bring in more customers, but all these customers are gonna be like, what's Blippi doing? <laughs> so we need to tell them what we're doing. We're gonna be selling lemonade, one dollar. <laughs> so let's put this right here. Perfect. How does this look? Can you tell what I'm here for? Yeah, to sell lemonade. All right, now that we built the stand, now we need to make some lemonade and then we can sell it. Yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, the first ingredient to lemonade is lemons. <laughs> there we go. So great that our friend has their very own lemon tree. That definitely saves us a lot of money when we calculate how much this lemonade cost us to make. Okay, all right, see this pitcher? We're gonna put a lot of water, sugar, lemons, and we're gonna spice it up with a little bit of raspberries to make raspberry lemonade. So the first thing that we need to do is to grab our lemons. Yeah, all right. And only grown-ups should use a knife. So we're going to first take a lemon. We're gonna cut it in half and use this device to squeeze out all of the juice. Just like this. Ready? Yeah, do you see all that lemon juice down there? Okay, let's do another. There we go. Whoa, this thing is just pressing out all of the juice. Oh, it looks so yummy. <laughs> I bet it'd be really sour though. <laughs> all right. I think that is plenty of lemon juice for our lemonade. All right, so we need to now pour this in our giant pitcher. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All right, it has a little bit of pulp, but that's okay. 
Okay, so the lemons were free. So this cost us zero dollars to make. <laughs> we're right on track. Okay, the next thing, let's add our water. a perfect amount. Okay. So the lemons were free. The water was 10 cents. Yeah. And now we need to sweeten it up because this is basically just like watered down lemon juice, which would be really tart and sour. <laughs> so what we have right here is sugar. Yeah. That's a really tasty ingredient. You don't want to eat too much sugar though. But for the lemonade, we're gonna add six scoops. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> there we go. Let's put that aside. Here we go. This lemonade is complete. All you really need to make lemonade are lemons, water, and sugar. But we have that extra ingredient from earlier, remember? Raspberries. Yeah, we're gonna make raspberry lemonade. But before we add those, let's calculate how much this lemonade has cost us thus far. Well, the lemons were free because we have a great friend. <laughs> the water was 10 cents. And then the sugar was 40 cents. So right now we're at 50 cents for this whole pitcher. Whoa. All right. Now we can add our raspberries. Woo. Oh, oh, that silly one fell out. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to just use these. Ready? Here we go. Whoa. Looks like they float. Whoa. Raspberry lemonade. <laughs> okay. So now our total cost, let's calculate. So earlier it was 50 cents and these raspberries cost me 50 cents from the grocery store. So 50 cents plus 50 cents is $1. Wow, this whole pitcher cost us $1. <laughs> All right, let's put in some ice. <laughs> to chill it down, so then we can go and sell it. The ice was free, because our friend also has a freezer full of ice. So, now that we have nice, cold lemonade, raspberry lemonade, we can go and sell it. I think there's about eight cups in here, and our cost is one dollar. So eight cups, if we sell them for one dollar, would be eight dollars. And if we minus $1, that's $7. Whoa, we're gonna make $7. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Whoa, we did it. We built this amazing lemonade stand. We made some tasty lemonade. Yeah, now it's time to sell some lemonade. Here we go. Lemonade, lemonade. Who wants some lemonade? Oh. I'd love some lemonade. Oh, okay. How are you doing today? Good, I'm a little thirsty. Ooh, really? Well, it looks like I might have something just for you. Oh, fantastic. How here. much is it? It is one dollar. One dollar? I got that right here. <laughs> Amazing! Thank you, what kind is this? This is not normal lemonade. It is raspberry lemonade. My favorite. I can't wait to try, thank you. All right, see you later. Bye. Did you see that? You and I just made our very first lemonade sale. Good job. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun learning about business, how to make lemonade with you, and having fun along the way. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Blippi, good job. All right. Time to sell some more lemonade. <laughs> lemonade, lemonade. <laughs> <laughs>
Who wants some lemonade? <laughs> hey, it's me, Flippy. And today, I'm at the Phoenix Zoo in Phoenix, Arizona. Hey, I think you and I should learn about some animals today. Let's go. Do you see that? That is a howler monkey. Yeah, do you see it? Yeah, right there. That is Bilbo, named after Bilbo Baggins. <laughs> That's funny. Let's act like monkeys together. That's Lulu the rhinoceros. And Lulu is 21 years old. <laughs> yeah, Lulu, party! Yeah! <laughs> That's a toucan. Did you see its big beak? Kind of looks like a banana. Let's check out another animal. Oh, whoa, look at this. Do you know what animal this is? Yeah, this is a tiger. Whoa, hello kitty. <laughs> whoa, come over here, turn around. Whoa, this is where the tigers live. Hey, and look at who it is over here. Looks like we're getting ready to do some training. See that? The tiger is doing exactly what he's saying. It looks like they're having so much fun. Target. Target. Ooh, that was really cool. Did you see that? Hey, will you tell us why we just did that? Yeah, so uh, we train our animals so that um, they have the opportunity to make things easier for them and the staff. Mm -hmm. So we don't train our animals to do tricks, um, we do what we call behaviors. So for example, when I was having Jay target his nose to the end of this pole, um, it allowed me to move him to different positions so I could see different parts of his body. Um, having him stand up is not only impressive to see how big a tiger is, um, but it gives me the chance to see his underside. Because just like us, they can get injuries like cuts and bruises. So it lets me check up on his body to make sure he's still feeling good. Ooh, well thank you so much for showing me what you just showed me. You're very welcome. All right, see you later. Thanks. <laughs> let's go see some more stuff. Do you see that animal? It's another cat. This is a jaguar. Whoa. I have a pail of carrots and some tongs. And we just got told we need to feed the next animal. Come on. Ooh. Hey, check it out. These are cables that you have to be on this side of them. But we just got permission to head inside so we can feed the animals. Let's go. 
Okay, this is a short barrier. Interesting. That wasn't too hard to get in. Oh, I see the animal, look. Let's go through the trees. Whoa, hey look, look at the animal. We get a feed, check it out. Whoa, do you know what kind of animal this is? This is a tortoise. Let's feed the tortoises, yeah. Check this out, this is a carrot and I'm using tongs because tortoises have really strong jaws. It might bite my finger off. Here you go. Whoa, oh, whoops, it slipped. <laughs> Here you go. Whoa, okay, would you like a little bit more? Yeah, okay, here you go. Oh, there you go. Whoa, this tortoise is about 550 pounds. Whoa, that is really heavy. Hey, and guess how old he is. Oh. He's 66 years old. Oh, that's really old. Oh, hello. Hey, check this out. I'll pet this tortoise's head. Hello, how are you? Whoa, whoa, look. The tortoise is off the ground, do you see that? Because that allows for all the bugs and everything to get away from its underneath area. Whoa! Okay, let's go get some more carrots. Whoa, hello, how are you doing? Are you having a good day? Ooh, check it out. See this tortoise? This tortoise is a Galapagos tortoise and it's a female. Oh, oh, there you go. Oh, and here comes the male. Whoa, do you see how big he is? Oh, I'm getting trapped. Okay, I'm gonna loop right around here. See how this one's a little smaller? And this one is bigger? Whoa! This is a female, and this is a male. Whoa, hey! Do you two like each other? Yeah, you two look like your friends. Whoa. Oh, would you like some more? Whoa! <laughs> Good job. Oh, you dropped it. <laughs> hey, come a little closer. Okay, here you go. All right. Eee, open wide. Here comes the carrot. Whoa. <laughs> there you go. Is that yummy? Hey. Tortoises like carrots, just like how I do. And carrots are nice and healthy. There you go. Whoa, you have a big mouth. <laughs> Whoa, look, I'm giving this tortoise a scratch. See, how does that feel? Does that feel good? Yeah. Do you see how the tortoise is standing on its legs really high in the air? In the wild, they do this because a lot of times they have bugs underneath them. And this allows for the finches, which are birds, go, go, to fly underneath there and then eat all of the bugs underneath this tortoise. Yeah, but for now, he's standing on his legs because this feels really good. It's kind of like when a grown up gives you a back scratch. Yeah, I like when my mom gives me a back scratch. Yeah, how does this feel? You like that? Yeah. <laughs> okay, my turn. Okay, my turn. I'm ready. I'm ready. Oh no. Ooh, check this out. This is an armadillo. Okay, here you go, run free. Oh, look, an armadillo is one of the ambassador animals at the zoo. 
That means it's an animal that you can meet face to face. Whoa, hey, what are you doing? You want a treat? Armadillos love mealworms. Here you go, uh-oh. Hey, come right over here. There you go. Look, doesn't this armadillo look hard? Yeah, it is kind of hard. And it's not a shell. It's bone inside the armadillo's skin. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Ooh, this is Princess Buttercup. Ooh, all right. Here you go. Here you go, Princess Buttercup. Ooh, look at Princess Buttercup's pretty little nails. Whoa. Okay, run free. Animal. What kind of animal is this? This is an Indian crested porcupine. Whoa! Look at all of its spines. Are those spines? The big ones are just to make her look scary, but the dangerous ones are down by her tail. Oh, okay, down there. Whoa. And what is she doing right now? We're just enjoying some snacks. Ooh. She likes a lot of plants, so we've got her some biscuits, some yam, and some apple today. Ooh, that sounds pretty tasty, actually. Ooh. Let's take a closer look at the porcupine. Wow, you don't want to touch this animal on its tail. <laughs> This next area is really cool. Whoa, do you hear that? All these things are working really hard to keep this next area exactly like how the ocean is. Come here. Whoa, look at it. Whoa, there's so many filters and, and other things. It's so cool. Okay, come over here. Let me show you what it's doing. Yeah, this is Stingray Bay, and they're training the stingrays to do some pretty cool tricks. If you come to this zoo, you can use a flat, gentle hand and touch the stingrays on their back. But they're letting me go inside. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, first, I need to take off my shoes. One shoe. Whoa, two shoes. Okay, let's put those there. Can't forget about the socks because I'm gonna put these on. Whoa, they're like water socks or water shoes. Okay, let's put them on. All right, okay, okay, <laughs> I'm ready, here we go. You have to be nice and smooth and slow so you don't scare them. Oh, oh the water's nice and cold. Okay. Whoa. <laughs> okay. Hi. How are you? Good. How are you? Good. What's your name? My name is Mary, and this is Kelsey. We work here at the Phoenix Zoo. Woo! So what are you doing right now? So right now we're giving breakfast to our stingrays, and we're checking them to make sure everybody's healthy and happy this morning. Ooh, that sounds like fun. Can I help? Sure. Would you like to feed some? Ooh, yeah. Let's feed the stingrays. Okay. So Look at them. They, they have <laughs> shrimp and smelt. So you can take a Ooh. couple and you can put it in your hand. Okay. Check out the food. Whoa! It looks so tasty. Okay, I put it in my hand. You're gonna hold it like an ice cream cone. Okay. Ooh, I like ice cream. <laughs> okay, just like that. Put it nice and deep into the water. They're gonna swim over your hand and they're gonna suck it out of your hand like a vacuum. Okay. Okay, here you go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Look at that one. 
So you've got a uh, blue spotted ribbon tail sitting on your feet. <laughs> okay. Do I go deeper in the water? Let's see what we can do. Oh, there Come you on, go. guys. Oh, I did it. Look, it's gone. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it sucked it right out of my hand. Can I do it again? You can't. Can oh. oh, thank you. <laughs> they suck the food right out of my hand. It's kind of like, have you ever put a vacuum on your hand and then the vacuum sucks on your hand? That's kind of how it feels like when it's sucking the food out of your hand. Whoa, <laughs> that one just swam through my legs. <laughs> Whoa, look at them. So they're getting used to you now. So they can yeah. feel who you are by your heartbeat. Okay. They're understanding that you're not gonna hurt them and so they're coming closer and closer. As they're getting more and more comfortable with you. Yep. Look at him. Hello. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> that scared me. What happened there? They just got a little bit excited. Okay. Excited, not scared? Yeah. Okay. Because I kind of got scared. <laughs> but that's okay. They kind of seem really gentle. Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. There they go again. <laughs> Look at how wet I'm getting. <laughs> All right, let's feed some more. Hello, look at all these stingrays. Whoa. <laughs> all right, bye-bye stingrays. Ooh, now we're gonna take a camel ride. <laughs> Have fun, Flippy. Thank you. Look, this is the top of the camel. See the hump? I'm gonna sit on top of it. Whoa! Now I'm on top of a camel. Okay, here we go. All right, Check it out, whee! I'm on the hump of the camel. Whoa, this is a nice camel. This is a dromedary camel. It's really high up here. Whoa, <laughs> I'm having so much fun. <laughs> Wee! hello. the hump of the camel, they store fat in here. And they can actually go about seven months without eating food. Or three to four weeks without drinking any water. That's pretty impressive, huh? Whoa! Whee! <laughs> Whoa! some pretty long legs, huh? And it has four legs. And you and I have two. Whoa. All right, this is pretty fun. Whoa, <laughs> that was awesome. Thank you very much. Yeah, you're welcome. All right, okay, let's go see some more animals. Ooh, now we're behind the scenes of the native Arizona exhibit. Ooh, check it out. Look, some tools. Hey, what does this look like? Kind of looks like a golf club. <laughs> but actually, see how it has a hook? It's used to handle certain types of reptiles, like a snake. Okay, but I'm not gonna use that because I'm not a trained professional. Ooh, check it out. Wow, some aquariums. <laughs> the fish are on the other side. We're behind the scenes. Whoa, look at this room. Whoa, this is a box. And this is where a snake lives. Let's read what kind it is. Rattlesnake. Venomous? 
<gasps> oh, okay, I don't think I should handle that one. Cause like I said, I'm not a trained professional. <laughs> Let's find a snake that I can handle. Whoa, this room's pretty cool. Whoa, there's so many cages right here. Whoa, what are these? These are snake sheds. Wow, every snake sheds its skin every couple months. Look at that, and they're all in one piece. Look, doesn't that look like a snake? Yeah, that's pretty cool, huh? Okay, okay, I'll keep these right here. Okay, yeah, this one looks like a good snake to handle. I'm handling a snake. Whoa, and look at the color of this snake. It's orange and white and black. Whoa, I used to be afraid of snakes when I was a child, but now I'm not. But some snakes you definitely don't want to hold. So if you ever see a snake in the wild, just to be safe, you probably shouldn't try and hold it like this. Okay, whoa, look, are you having fun, snake? Whee, hello, hey, whoa, look at it, whoa. It's so intrigued with the camera. Whoa. Whoa. This is awesome. We're behind the scenes of another reptile area. Whoa, there's so many cool tanks in here with so many unique creatures. Whoa! <laughs> hey! Whoa, look right here. Oh, hey! There's someone over here. Come here! Whoa! Hey, what are you doing? Just getting ready to check out one of our horned lizards. Did you want to hold him? Yeah! A horned lizard? That's cool. Okay. Okay, thank you. Whoa, look! This is a horned lizard. Check out its horns. Wow, <laughs> he's so cute. Oh, and he's just hanging out. <laughs> okay, well, thank you very much. You're welcome. Okay, there you go. That was awesome. Good job. Let's go. Hello, hello. <laughs> Whoa. Oh. A lion? Mm -hmm. Ooh, an elephant. <laughs> Whoa, look! <laughs> this is a gorilla. <laughs> and some snakes? Yeah, I gotta hold a snake. Whoa. Isn't that cool? Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. Okay, follow me. Ooh, there's even a dinosaur. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. Interesting. Well, hey, that was so much fun learning about animals with you at the zoo. This is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? <laughs> Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. Blippi. Good job. All right. See you later. Woo! Look at this. This is a fire department helicopter toy. Ooh, and today we're at the Los Angeles City Fire Department Air Operations. And let me tell you, I have a surprise for you. This is 
is a real fire department helicopter. I am so excited to learn about fire department helicopters today with you. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, now let's check out the inside of the fire department helicopter. Come on! <laughs> we have to open up the door. Whoa, do you see in here? This, yeah, is the cab of the helicopter. Come in here. Whoa, there's so many cool things in here. First, let me show you the cockpit. Whoa, look up there. There's so many cool instruments, gadgets, radios. Whoa. Okay, for now, I'll show you the cab. Ooh, there's a lot of seats in here. See? I'm gonna go to this one. Whoa, hey. This seat has a seat belt. I'm gonna put it on. All right, buckle up. Ooh, you see, I'm in this seat, and there's another seat, there's another seat. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, and there's actually another seat in the back. Yeah, five, you're sitting on it. That's funny. Whoa, look at this. Look at this giant backpack. There's a bunch of medical supplies in here. Whoa, this is what they take down to the ground to help people. Whoa, look at this light. Whoa, <laughs> it's the color blue and it's shining on my face. So these light, lights are really dim. So then from there you can use your MVGs your night vision goggles and see at night so it doesn't blind you. Whoa! Whoa! This is a headset. Wow! You put it on your ears. And then has a microphone right here. But I have to plug it in first. Check this out. Get ready. Listen. Whoa! Can you hear me? <laughs> I sound funny! I'm talking through the microphone right now. Whoa! Flying in a helicopter! <laughs> okay. <laughs> I'll, I'll show you more of that later. But for now, look at this! This... Whoa! Is a med deck. I can pull it out. It's nice and flat. Keeps the spine of the patient nice and flat. Okay, gotta put it back in here. Okay, there we go. Wow, it was so cool seeing the inside of the cap of the helicopter. Whoa, so many cool things. Whoa, what's this? Blippi, this is our hook for our rescue hoist. Oh, a hook on the rescue, wait, wait a second. Who are you? I'm Pilot Sharif. <laughs> what do you do? Well, today I'm the hoist operator on our air ambulance at the LAFD Air Operations. Ooh, that's cool. Wait, what's in your hand? This is called a pendant. It's what controls our hook. We can lower and raise it with this controller here. Whoa, this is the controller of the hoist. Wow, can you show me all of this stuff I in sure, action? I sure can. Would you like to try our, our hot seat? This is how we rescue people who really aren't hurt on the ground. In a hot, a hot seat? I wonder what a hot seat is. Well, our hot seat oh, looks like a jacket. Go ahead and put your helmet on. Okay. And you already have safety glasses on, so yep. that works. <laughs> Look, I'm wearing a white helmet. This okay. works just like a jacket, and okay. it's a simple harness that allows us to bring you up into the helicopter safely Ooh. without falling through. Okay, so this is a harness that if I'm on the ground, you hoist down, or someone hoist down, to come save me, right? That's right, and they'll help you put this on just like this. Okay. And they'll connect you to the hook once you get down on the ground. Okay. They'll lower the hook down to you, and then we'll connect it. Whoa. And when you're ready, we'll bring you up. Okay. Ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Whoa. 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 
It's like I'm flying! We'll bring you all Whee! the way up to the helicopter. Okay. We'll bring you in, and then Blippi will be safe. Oh, cool. Fly away. Well, thank you so much for showing me this. Oh, you're welcome. All right. It was nice to meet you, Blippi. Nice to meet you, too. <laughs> wow, this is so much fun. <laughs> you know helicopters are at airports and also airplanes are at airports and if there's ever a problem at an airport they have a big truck called a foam truck oh hey look there's a foam truck right over there do you see it yeah okay so what foam trucks do are they spray foam and water out the front just in case if there's ever anything at the airport like a fire. So what we're gonna do is show you it's spraying water out of the turret. See, there's the first turret. Whoa, that's so powerful. Are you ready for the second turn? All right, here we go. Whoa, you see that? There's one turret and there's two turrets. Remember that? 
That's the hot seat. Okay. Here he goes. Whoa! <laughs> that looks fun! Whoa, hello! Wow, he just got hoisted all the way up into the sky in the helicopter! Wow! <laughs> Shut the door! <laughs> Now it's time to learn the exterior parts of the helicopter. Wow, what a big machine. Oh, hey, up here, this is the cockpit. This is where the pilot and the co-pilot sit. So then they fly the helicopter. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> and back here, this is the cab. Yeah, this is where all the passengers sit. And this helicopter is so big that 14 people can be inside here. 14? That is so many people. Whoa. Oh, look at this. This is a spotlight. Ready? <laughs> yeah, also known as the night sun. This is used to shine so then anyone can, everyone can see everything at night. Whoa, so bright! Ooh, and back here, these, this is a water tank. And you fill it up right here. Grab the hose. <laughs> Bring on the water! Then this fills up with water, and then from there you fly over things. <laughs> and then you pour water on things, like fire. So then you can save people. Wow, what a cool machine. Let's see what else there is. Come on. Whoa, look down there. Wait a second. What's this doing here? Huh, you know how some helicopters have landing skids? This helicopter has wheels and tires. Wow, that is so interesting. Huh, cool. Ooh. Whoa! Wait a second! You've seen this before, right? Yeah, this is a number! Yeah, one, two, three! The number three! Wow! Oh, let's open this up! Whoa! Check it out! That's a cargo compartment. It's pretty dark in there. <laughs> Come on. Oh, hey. Los Angeles Fire Department. Oh, they're pretty cool. <laughs> Whoa. Wow, this is a horizontal stabilizer fin. It keeps the helicopter stable. Oh, look up there! That's the tail rotor! Whoa! <laughs> it's so high up there! And this, it looks pretty big, but in reality, that's the smaller rotor. But this one, the main rotor, come here! It is so big! Do you see it up there? Whoa! This main rotor has five blades. One, Two, three, four, five! Good job! Whoa, it's so high up there! Oh, oh. <laughs> anyways, I was just trying to touch it. <laughs> Whoa, look at this! The exhaust! <laughs> All the exhaust? from the jet engine gets pushed out of there. Wait a second, I just said jet engine. Yeah, look. Whoa, that's the jet engine. There's two of them on this helicopter, one on this side and one on the other. This is where it produces all of its power. And one of the places that it uses its power 
is the transmission. Whoa. That is so cool looking up there. Oh, hey, look at this. You see right here? This is where you refuel the helicopter. We won't mess with that. Okay, let's see what else we have here. Ooh, <laughs> check out my sweet dance moves. <laughs> okay, anyways, look at this. This is the hoist. Whoa, it goes down. Yeah, about 300 feet roughly. <laughs> that is so much. So then it can save people by going. <laughs> Thanks so much for learning about the exterior parts of the helicopter with me. Now it's time for the firefighting helicopter song. It can fight forest fires from the sky. It can stop those flames from getting too high. It can save the trees. Save your home, it can even save your life. It's a firefighting helicopter, fighting fires from above the ground. A firefighting helicopter, on a mission to put those fires out. lots of water when it flies, lakes and rivers are its water supply. videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? All right, ready? B-L-I-P-P-I. -P -P -I. Flippy, good job. All right, bye-bye. Whoa, look at this fire truck toy. It has a gigantic ladder. There's a real fire truck behind me. Let's put this fire truck toy away and check out some of the gadgets on the real fire truck. Fireman, 
can you hear me? This is Fireman Blippy. <laughs> hey, we're inside a real fire truck. I got my seatbelt on to keep me safe. I even got my headset so I can communicate with all the other workers. Oh, look over this way. That's where the driver sits and steers the fire truck with the steering wheel. Oh, check the back out with me. Yeah, look at all those seats. That's where the rest of the fire workers sit. And there's anywhere from three to six firemen in the fire truck going to the fire. <laughs> Let's check out some more of the fire truck. the base of the ladder on the fire truck and look way up there yeah there's a real fireman let's get him to wave to us oh, he's so high up there he's about 105 feet up in the air wow Now it's about time for me to show you some of the tools and gadgets on a fire truck. Let's go. Whoa. Look, this right here, yeah, this is a hydrant wrench. You use this to open up the fire hydrant. And then uh, this is the stores wrench. Whoa, you use the stores wrench on the inlets of the fire truck. So then you can connect the hose to the fire truck and provide the fire truck with water. But in order to do that, you need hoses. Look up here. Whoa. That's a lot of hose. Okay. Now, let me show you some more cool gadgets of the fire truck. Whoa, watch this. Whoa! Okay, we got a pickaxe, we got just a normal pick, and then, yep, you can't forget the snippers. <laughs> Ooh, watch this trick. Whoa! Look at all these cool tools on the fire truck. <laughs> There's tools inside secret compartments that are inside secret compartments. <laughs> Wait, hey, come back here. I forgot to show you something. Look at inside this little compartment. Whoa, it's a giant air tank. The firefighters use this to breathe air because you can't breathe in fire and smoke. But in order to use this, you need to wear a harness. Let's go try on a harness now. We just got a fire call. Let's go put on our air pack. All right, this is our air pack. This is compressed air in this big bottle. And then this down here, this is my mask. So let me put it on. Tighten that up, and then you just buckle this in, kind of like a seatbelt. Okay, and now 
you gotta turn on the air. Okay, and then let's put on the mask. Okay, now I'm breathing air from the air condenser pack back there. Now it's time to go fight some fires. See ya! about the buttons. <laughs> this fire truck toy is so much fun. Thank you for learning about fire trucks with me, Blippi, B-L-I, P-P-I, Blippi, good job. Now you know how to say and spell my name. If you wanna see more of my fun educational videos, be sure to click this big red button that says subscribe so you can see all of them. Or if you wanna see me play with this fire truck toy more, be sure to click that. So then you can see my brand new channel where I play with toys. <laughs> wow, this is gonna be fun. Parents, if your child loves my videos, be sure to head over to blippy.com because as you know now, they can watch my videos for free on YouTube, but introducing, they can download them on their tablet, phone, or your tablet, or your phone, <laughs> and not use your data or your Wi-Fi just in case if you're going on a long trip. <laughs> Who knows? All right, well, see you again. Thanks for watching. Bye. Come. <laughs> hey, it's me, Blippi. And I was just playing with this dinosaur toy. <laughs> oh, I sure do love dinosaurs. Do you like dinosaurs? Yeah, they are so cool. <laughs> yeah, and it's so cool how all of them look so different from each other. Yeah, whoa. Yeah, dinosaurs used to roam our planet. You know how we know that? Yeah, because people have found fossils. Yeah, fossils of dinosaurs. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Fossils are remains from plants and, and animals and dinosaurs from such a long time ago. <laughs> well, I love dinosaurs. You and I are gonna learn about dinosaurs and maybe we'll find some fossils in this video. <laughs> Whoa, check it out. Yeah, I have a pail full of sand. Yeah, I found all this sand outside. I think we should use some of our tools to see what's inside the sand and maybe we'll find a fossil. Yeah, okay, the tools that we have here are a magnifying glass. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. Okay, that'll help us look at things nice and up close. Ooh, nice little pick. Yeah, yeah, a pick and a miniature shovel. So then we can shovel up some of the sand. Ooh. And then, check this out, whoa, it's a brush. <laughs> yep, so then we can be nice and delicate. We 
definitely don't want to break up the fossils. All right, let's see, what do we have here? Yeah, bunch of sand. So I think we should take our shovel, our little pick, and then do some picking. Okay, yeah, we need to break it up. Perfect, yep. Now that we're getting it nice and loose, oh, yeah, I think I might see something. Oh, do you see that? Oh, yeah, I think we found a fossil. Yeah, it's the color gray. Huh, interesting. Whoa, look, yeah. Archaeologists love to do this. Yeah, they're the ones that uncover a lot of fossils. <laughs> Maybe you'll be an archaeologist someday. <laughs> Whoa! Check it out! Yeah, we found all these fossils. And then look right here. Yeah, here's one more. Whoa. To brush it off. Whoa. Check it out. Yeah. It looks like some teeth. Maybe the lower jaw. Whoa. <laughs> That is so cool. Okay, let me empty this. Have to stay nice and clean and organized. Okay, now let's inspect some of these fossils. Whoa, this one is so cool. This one might even be an insect fossil or something. I don't know. Maybe it's some form of type of dinosaur. I don't know. <laughs> this could be any part of the dinosaur. But I don't even know. <laughs> but I know what this is. Yeah! Whoa! This for sure is a fossil. That looks like a rib cage. Do you see it? Yeah! That's a rib cage to a really small dinosaur. Yeah! That's the rib cage. Then the whole dinosaur must have only been about this big. Whoa! Hey, oh! <laughs> okay, what else do we have here? Whoa. Huh, interesting. This one kind of looks like a rock. <laughs> Who knows? Whoa, look at this. This looks like an underwater type of dinosaur. Yeah, it's so smooth and shiny. Huh, kind of looks like a, a shell of some sort. I don't know. <laughs> Wow, this has been so much fun, digging for fossils. Yeah. Whoa, maybe next time you go outside and you find some dirt, yeah, and you have the correct tools, maybe you can dig, and maybe you'll find a fossil. Whoa, pretty cool. Whoa, <laughs> whoa. I sure do love digging and brushing for fossils. Whoa! Yeah, I love dinosaurs. Do you like dinosaurs? Yeah, they are so cool. Whoa, check out all these dinosaurs. Whoa! Hey, check it out. Do you know what dinosaur this is? Yeah, this looks like a T-Rex. Yeah, Tyrannosaurus Rex. Whoa, what a scary dinosaur. Yeah, this dinosaur eats meat. Yeah, other dinosaurs. Yeah, that is actually called a carnivore. Yeah, if you are a carnivore, you eat meat. Yeah, and a T-Rex is definitely a carnivore because it has really sharp, big teeth. Whoa. <laughs> Check this one out. This is a brontosaurus. Whoa, what a cute dinosaur. Whoa, look at its long neck. Whoa, its long neck is really good to reach to the top of the tree canopies. Um, um, and eat a lot of leaves. Yeah, the brontosaurus is an herbivore. Yeah, if you're a dinosaur and you only eat plants, then you would be an herbivore. Yeah, like a brontosaurus. T-Rex, carnivore, brontosaurus, herbivore. Whoa! Well, hey, 
I think we should listen to the dinosaur song. Yeah! A long time ago on this planet Earth, before we ever existed, another kind of creature ruled the land, and this is a song for them. Had three horns on their head in case they ever needed to defend. The Brachiosaurus had a really long neck, and at the end was a itty bitty head. Pterodactyls would soar through the sky, their wings were enormous in size. And if they stood up straight on the ground, they would be as tall as a song awesome? Yeah! I love dinosaurs! And I love dancing! Didn't that song just make you want to dance? Hey, I have an idea. Why don't you and I pick a dinosaur and let's dance like it? Woohoo! Okay, what dinosaur? Hmm. Oh, yeah! How about a T-Rex? Yeah. Okay, I'll teach you how to dance like a T-Rex. First, you have to put your hands out right here, and they don't have very long arms. So, you just act like you have some claws. Woo! <laughs> and then, you give it a big roar. Okay, hit that music! Dinosaur. much fun dancing like a dinosaur with you and learning about dinosaurs with you in this video but this is the end of this video but if you want to watch more of my videos all you have to do is search for my name will you spell my name with me b-l-i-p-p-i -P -P -I. blippi good job <laughs> all right see you again Bye bye Hey!
Hey, it's me, Blippi. And I was just making some sweet tunes with this bowl. And <laughs> you like that? <laughs> That's funny. But hey, today we're not gonna learn about tunes. We're gonna learn about, yeah, how to make clay. Yeah, look at it. Look at how many cool colors I have. Whoa, look. <laughs> so much fun to play with. Whoa, and you can roll it up and make things with it. Look, I just made a baseball. <laughs> wow, all right, let's look at all the colors. We have orange, white, blue, purple, green, red, black, and light blue. Whoa! And today, yeah, you and I are gonna make some of this. Yeah, and this recipe you can make at home with a grown-up. Yeah! And then after you make it, you can squish it nice and flat, and then you take some of these and and then you can cut it out. Whoa! And maybe we can spell some words together. Maybe we can make an airplane together. Whoa, this is gonna be so much fun. Okay, so the first thing we have to do is have all the ingredients for this clay. Yeah, here we go. And I have my recipe right here. <laughs> first, we need a bowl. And what I would do if I was you, I would probably have a grown-up help you because this can get really messy and there's a lot of ingredients. Yeah, all right. So first, we need to start with one cup of flour. Whoa. Okay, let's open this up. There we go. And it doesn't need to be exact. Yeah, that is one cup of flour. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> wow. That is a great base for the clay we're making. Okay, all right, let's see. One quarter cup of salt. All right, it is definitely already getting really messy. Okay, one quarter cup. And then we need to grab some salt. Here we go. Perfect, ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, perfect. All right. Okay, let me zip this back up. Yeah. And then we need one teaspoon of cream of tartar. <laughs> what a silly name! <laughs> That's so fun! Cream of tartar! <laughs> one teaspoon. Oh, there's so many. Okay, here we go. Here's one. Go. And we're gonna mix all this up in a little bit. But for now, <laughs> let's pour all the ingredients in here. Then we have a half a tablespoon of oil. Okay, whoa. This is where it might get a little messy. Okay. Perfect. All right. Put the lid back on, just so it does not spill. That would be bad news, Barry. <laughs> okay, and then we have a half cup of H2O. Do you know what H2O stands for? Yeah! <sighs> water. <laughs> I love water. All right, half of a cup. Perfect. All right. Oh, hey, look. I forgot to close up the flour. We should probably do that. All right, let's push all that stuff to the side because now we're ready to mix it up. But what we need to do is put in some color. And you can make any color you want. But what we're gonna do, although we already have a green color, I think we should make another green. But this one will be a little bit lighter. So, let's open this up, add some green. 
I don't know how much to add, but that seems like quite a bit. And then also I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. Yeah, it's gonna make it more of a, a bright green. Let's close that up. Whoa, that was a fun recipe to make. But now, <laughs> I gotta mix it up. Whoa, it's looking so good. <laughs> wow. You see it? Whoa. All right, let me keep mixing it up. Whoa, yeah! We did it! Wow, check it out! Wow! Whoa, homemade clay! Wow, what a pretty green color we made. Good job. I wonder what color you're gonna make at home for your first color. So now what you can do with this, it's so much fun. You can actually smash it flat. Watch this trick. <laughs> Where'd it go? Oh, <laughs> that's silly. Okay, let's peel it off. Wow, perfect. And then, now you can use these. Yeah, they're like cookie cutters, but these are definitely not cookies that we're making. I would not eat this, okay? All right, okay. Uh, yeah, remember that airplane? Whoa! Yeah, check it out! Okay, now you push it down. Whoa, look! <laughs> Cut an airplane out. But first, let's push it out of here. Wow. Yeah, we did such a good job. Whoa! <laughs> wow, okay, I'll put that airplane right there. Now, let's bring all the colors that we have out. And then, let's see what we can make together. Okay, so let's put that green back. And we have the airplane right there. What else? Oh, we have some letters. We have, ooh, a dog. Woof, woof. Will you act like a dog with me? Ready? Woof, 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 woof. <laughs> wow, <laughs> dogs are so cute. Okay, let's make a blue dog. That sounds pretty silly, doesn't it? Okay. You know what to do. Smash out your clay nice and flat. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, here we go. All right. Push it down. All right. Whoa. Look at that. Whoa. <laughs> Pull the sides away. Wow, and now, oh, <laughs> that's silly. Look, what is that? Yeah, it's a little poochie. Woof, 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 woof. Oh, whoa. <laughs> okay, we'll save you. We'll put you right there. Perfect, all right. One pooch and one airplane. Huh, <laughs> perfect. Oh, hey, I think we have some letters over here. We can spell something out. Okay, looks like we have a B, a P, an I, an L, huh, a B, a P, an I, and an L. What word can you think that uses those letters? A B, a P, an I, and an L. Hmm. I know! Yeah, my name! <laughs> Blippi! Yeah, we can actually spell my whole name out just with these four letters. See, we would go like this. We would use a B, an L, an I. We would do two P's, 
and then we would use another eye. Perfect. All right, let's do that. All right, first we need some colors. So let's use this blue color. Yeah, there we go. Let's do a B right there. Perfect. Whoa, this is gonna be so cool. Yeah, and if you use some of this at home, maybe you could spell your name. Okay, let's use some purple. All right, so we got a blue B right here. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, and then we have an L. Alright, nice little L right there. Yeah! So a B, L, and then we need an I. How does that look? Yeah! Whoa! Okay, B, L, I. Yeah! B, L, I. What's the next letter? Yeah, P, and there's two of them. Let's use one of my favorite two colors. Yeah, the color orange. B, L, I, P, we need another P. We'll use the color black. <laughs> this is so much fun. It feels so cool on my hands. Ooh, another P. Yeah. So we got, here we go. We got B L I P P. What's the next letter? B L I P P. Yeah, I. And let's use this bright red color. All right, here we go. B L I P P I. Here we go. Oh, how does that look? B L I P P I. Yeah, good job. All right. Okay, let's put these down here with the dog and the airplane. There we go. All right. Now let's make one more thing. Huh? Hey. Well, since we have all these stencils and these cookie cutters. Yeah, you could actually use a lot of them. You can make a star. You can make a heart. You could make, ooh, a butterfly. Yeah. Or you could use some other tools. Yeah, like this spoon or this fork. And see, look at this. See, you can use the fork and, yeah, act like you're in the garden. Do, 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 do. Yep, gotta make the soil nice and soft, so then you can plant some plants. Wow. <laughs> but I am definitely making a mess with all these small pieces, so. Look at this. This is a cool trick that I learned. See, you can actually pick up a lot of the pieces by smashing it. Yeah, it's kind of fun, huh? <laughs> okay, but watch this. Hey, we haven't used this color green yet. So, if you take the spoon, and you scoop it, although it's a half of a circle, but you go all the way around, you actually might be able to scoop a full circle. Okay, let's try it. Ready? Yeah, look. There we go. Whoa, look. <laughs> it's like a circle. Wow. <laughs> and then you can put it in your hands Roll it around. Yeah, look. It's like a basketball. <laughs> oh, that was silly. <laughs> well, this has been so much fun making this clay with you. Did you have fun making clay with me? Yeah, and it was really fun. Yeah, using those cookie cutters to cut out some of the clay into an airplane. A doggy, woof, 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 woof. <laughs> and my name, Blippi. Well, this is the end of this video, but if you
you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B oh, L I P P I Blippi. All right. Thank you so much for being my friend. See you soon. Bye-bye. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and look at all the items that I have. Whoa, so many random things. But hey, in this video, we are going to do the Blippi Velocity Race. Yeah, that's where we put a lot of these items on this ramp. Yeah, see how this ramp is at an angle? Yeah, we're gonna let them go at the same time and see what item reaches the bottom first. Okay, so let's go with heat number one, the slow pokes. <laughs> we have this sweet, colorful beach ball, and then we have this really light balloon. Okay, all right. What one do you think is gonna reach the bottom first? I think I know. Three, two, one. Whoa, did you see that? Yeah. The beach ball went to the bottom first. Okay, let's let them just, you know, get warmed up for later. And then we'll use some more items. Yeah, I'm sure all these items are gonna be a lot faster. Okay, here's another set of items. They're actually the same item. Water bottles. Yeah, but this one is empty. And this one is half full. <laughs> all right. Let's put them on their side, and then let's let them roll down. Okay, are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Are you ready? Oh, I'm ready. Awesome. Three, two, one. Whoa, yeah. Wow. The half full water bottle totally beat the empty water bottle. How do you feel after your race, half full water bottle? Oh, Blippi, I feel amazing. I can't believe I've won. Great. Well, it's gonna move on to the next race. Half full water bottle versus extremely bright orange duct tape. <laughs> All right, here we go. Are you ready? Ready to race. Are you ready? You know I'm ready. All right, three, two, one. Whoa, whoa, did you see that? Yeah, the water bottle rolled down way to the bottom, way quick, way faster than the duct tape. Perfect, so now it can move on to the next round. Have you ever wondered why these items, some go fast and some go slow? Yeah, it's because their velocity yeah, velocity is basically the speed at which they're rolling down. The speed and the direction. Yeah, there's a lot of things that actually determine what the item's velocity is. I mean, like, think about it like this. There could be a lot of friction and it like can't slide or maybe it rolls compared to, you know, maybe their sharp edges. There's just so many things that, you know, determine how fast, how much velocity these items have. So let's let these two items go. We have orange over here and apple over here. And let's see who wins. Go! Whoa! They were actually really close to each other. I don't even know who won. Let's see that instant replay. All right, let's pick two more items. We have a soccer ball or a football, depends where you live, and the half full water bottle, the champion. Okay, let's see who wins. All right, here we go. Are you ready? I'm good to go. Are you ready? I was born ready. All right. 
and away we go. Whoa, I cannot believe it. The half full water bottle wins the velocity race. Woohoo! And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> wow, that was awesome learning about velocity and how fast that water bottle went and how the ramp is angled. But yeah, if the ramp was flat, it definitely wouldn't go anywhere, right? Yeah, hey, can you think of a machine that is actually really fast? Yeah, there's a lot of them. Okay, let me give you a hint. Okay, this machine does not go on the ground. Well, it does, but then it goes in the air. Yeah. Whoa. I hear one! Yeah, maybe you've got to fly in one before. Fly? Yeah, they fly in the air. Yeah, airplanes. Yeah, airplanes are really fast. And speaking of speed and velocity, I think you and I should watch the airplane video. learning about velocity with you. And it was really fun seeing all these great items compete at the great Blippi Velocity Race. <laughs> but there's only one champion, and today, that was water. <laughs> wow. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video, but if you wanna watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? B-L-I. P-P-I, Blippi, good job. All right, see you again, bye-bye. <laughs>
You put one thing on this side and one thing on this side, or many things, and whatever way it tips will tell you what's heavier and what is lighter. Okay, let's try a really easy example. Okay, I'm gonna take these off. What do you think is heavier and what do you think is lighter? A feather <laughs> or a rock? Yeah, I bet. Yeah, the rock is gonna be heavier than the feather. Ready? Yeah, do you see how the rock is lower? Yeah, because this side is heavier. Okay, I have another idea. How about a bunch of these feathers? Whoa, yeah, that's a lot of feathers. <laughs> Whoa, and the feathers are so colorful. And to make it even, we need to add the carrying case on this side too. Okay, now let's see if all these feathers weigh more or less than this rock. Ready? Oh, that one rock is heavier than all of these feathers. Whoa! That is so cool. Okay, let me put that rock over there. Put this back up here. Wow. We have to stay nice and clean and organized because we have a lot of things to weigh here. Hey, okay. all right. Hey, check these out. What kind of fruit are these? Do you know? Yeah, this one is an apple and this one is an orange. Yum! <laughs> I love fruit. And I love vegetables. Okay, let's see. Huh, they weigh roughly the same. I wonder what one's gonna be heavier, what one's gonna be lighter. Ready? Three, two, one. Whoa, do you see that? Yeah. The apple is heavier. Wow. <laughs> and it's bigger. But that isn't always the case. Remember? Yeah, the feathers were so big, and then the rock was so small. But the feathers, yeah, were lighter than the rock. So it's all about density. Yeah, let's see here. Ooh, look at these. <laughs> wow, these are cubes. And they actually are pretty, whoa, <laughs> light. <laughs> wow, see, even one barely even tipped the scale. Okay, so let's go like this. Okay, there are four on that side. Actually, let's do three. <laughs> okay, now the same cubes on this side. Let's do five. What one do you think will be heavier? Yeah, you're right. Five cubes of the same size and same weight is heavier then three cubes of the same size and weight. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, all right, let's get back to weighing things. Okay, let's put these rocks over here. Let's gather up all the feathers. We need to pick up after ourselves. Perfect, put those right over there. <laughs> Although they're so cute and pretty. <laughs> okay, all right, now we have some dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> we have a T-Rex. Ah, okay, you can stand right there. Oh, how about you just take a nap? Just like that. <laughs> and then we have a Triceratops. Ah, ah. <laughs> okay, let's see what toy weighs more. I don't know the actual dinosaur weight, but just for these toys, yeah. This T-Rex is heavier than the Triceratops. But what if we added a Brontosaurus to it? All right, are you ready? These are definitely heavier. <laughs> okay, we'll put those aside. All right, now we have an experiment. Okay, we have rice and we have water. So let's put the same amount of rice in a balloon, 
compared to the water, the same amount. So let's do a quarter of a cup. And then we can see what one is heavier, which means which one is more dense? Because they're actually going to be roughly the, the, no, they will be the, the same size. Yeah, because one quarter of a cup is volume. Perfect. All right. <laughs> Sometimes it can be so confusing. <laughs> okay. All right. One quarter of a cup. Make sure it's nice and what? Perfect. Okay. Oh, gotta set that down right here. Need to prep my balloon first. Perfect. There we go. Okay. Gotta use the funnel or else it would be really dirty. <laughs> okay. Here we go. One quarter cup. Let me tie it. Okay, now we'll do the water. All right. Okay, now we need one quarter of a cup of water. Whoa. I don't want to spill. Ready? nice and organized be sure to clean up all right now let me tie this okay so we use the same amount of volume one quarter cup of rice one quarter cup of water okay, now we get to do the fun part we get to put it on the scale and we get to see which one is more dense which one is heavier ready The blue was rice. Whoa. Rice is more dense than water. Whoa. Woo, woo, woo. Hey, do you know what else is really heavy? Yeah. Construction vehicles are really heavy. Yeah, like this excavator or this front loader. Whoa, huh. this excavator is actually heavier than this front loader toy. Whoa, <laughs> hey, I have an idea. Since we're talking about weight and machines are really, really, really heavy. Let me think about a machine that is very heavy, low to the ground and can push everything out of its way. Do you know what machine that is? Yeah, look at the big front blade on it. Yeah, that is a bulldozer. Hey, I think we should learn and watch the bulldozer video. <laughs> bulldozer, clearing the land. Whoa. Bulldozer, pushing rubble and sand. Whoa. Bulldozer, constructing the roads. Whoa. Move over, it's about to roll. It's a yellow tracked machine. Whoa. Found on mines, farms, and factories. By breaking up rocks and digging in the dirt With the blade on the front and the claw on the back It can help you build a home just like that Whoa, it's on a roll Bulldozer And they can move through some rough terrain They can move all kinds of things Bulldozer, clearing the land Pushing rubble and sand Bulldozer Constructing the roads Move over, it's about to roll Bulldozer Clearing the land Bulldozer Pushing rubble and sand Bulldozer Constructing the roads Move over, it's about to roll Roll, roll on bulldozer it's a yellow machine 
let him move over, here comes the it's bulldozer It's machine Ring, ring Alright, <laughs> put in the box, here we go Go to the other side, dump them out There we go, two more blocks on this side Hmm, let's see Maybe the rock will make it heavy enough. Whoa! It for sure was heavy enough. Wow, that was so much fun learning about weight with you. And also, bulldozers. Wow, those machines are so heavy. <laughs> well, this is the end of this video. But if you want to watch more of my videos, all you have to do is search for my name. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B-L-I-P-P-I! -I. Blippi! Good job! Alright! See you again! Bye bye! <laughs> okay, I'm gonna clean up now. Hmm! Hey! Woo! Look at where we are! We are at a beautiful park! And look at what we have! Yum! A tasty lunch! Like this grape, mm. Mm. this raspberry, mm. Mm. a red strawberry, mm. and we have some vegetables, a sandwich, crackers, but we'll get to this in a little bit. Let's go play first, come on! Wow, this park is so beautiful! Like. These plants, they just look like plants, but they're so beautiful to me. Look, they're so green and alive. And they smell so great. Wow. Hey, I'm kind of hungry. Let's go eat some more. <laughs> wow. What's going on? Uh, my lunch was just right here. I was eating it and it was so good. And then I went over here and then I looked at some plants and then I came back here and it was all gone. Well, it looks like we're gonna have to investigate this. Lucky for you, I have my crime scene bag with me. Oh. I got a really good idea. Yeah. Do you want to help me, Blippi? I would love to, yeah. Oh, well, I got this special badge just for you. Oh, whoa. Wow, look at that. It even has my name on it. Whoa, I am honored. Whoa, and look at what you rode up on. A police bicycle. Can I look at it? Of course you can, Blippi. Oh, cool. Okay, look at this. A helmet. Wow, this keeps you nice and safe. Okay, and ooh, look up here. Do you see that? It's a light. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> and the handlebars. And one big giant wheel and tire. And then a second big giant wheel and tire. And then we have the pedals and the kickstand. Let's put that up right now. Oh, ooh. Yeah, and look at this. This is the crime scene investigation bag, he said. <laughs> this is gonna help us find my lunch. But first, Let's take it for a ride. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. 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 That was so much fun. It is, isn't it, Blippi? Yeah. Well, I think we should get started on the investigation. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too. All right, I think the next best thing, send in the canine. Ooh, canine? That's another word for a dog. <coughs> Officer Feechek, send in the canine. Police dogs have really sensitive noses 
and police use those to help us track to people and evidence to help us with our investigations. He did it. He found some evidence. Investigator Blippi, this is the evidence that the canine tracks to. Oh, look! This is my glass! This is my glass that had all the water in it! What's it doing all the way over here? Huh, well, there's the glass, what do we do? Well, we're gonna have to collect the evidence using the bag that we talked about earlier. Okay. So the first thing that we're gonna have to do is put an evidence tape up to secure the scene. Okay, Oh, thank you. says crime scene do not cross <laughs> whoa <Blip. laughs> go around the bumper Wee. <laughs> whoa <laughs> here you go that. and we can tie it off okay let's tie it there we go Almost there. Oh, good oh. job, Lippy. Thanks. Okay, it's nice and tied off. Now what? That was a great job, Lippy. Thanks. Now we have to take pictures using a ruler. Okay. Hey, here we go. So we have the ruler. Let's put this down right next to it. Then we have a camera. Let me turn it on. Ooh. <laughs> Smile. <laughs> Oh, you are so beautiful, Glass. <laughs> okay, close up. <laughs> okay, turn that off, and here you go. All right, now that we've taken pictures, we actually have to collect the evidence. Okay. But before we do so, we gotta put gloves on, because okay. we don't want your fingerprints being oh, on it. Right. Okay, so we have to put these gloves on. And this first glove is the color blue. And the second glove, <laughs> is also the color blue. All right, I got the gloves on, now what? Okay, now that the gloves are on, we can actually pick it up and put it into a bag. Okay. Ooh, look, the evidence bag. Okay, here we go. Pick it up, wow. Ooh, okay, let's put it in the bag. All right, so I got it in the bag, now what? That was a great job. Now we have to get it down to the police department okay. to process it. Okay. So how do we get it there? Well, we're going to have to call in the motorcycle. Okay. Officer Feedcheck, can you send in the motorcycle for transport of evidence? Okay. I guess I'll go meet the motorcycle. Go there waiting for you, Blippi. Okay. Oh Whoa! Look at what it is! Wow! It's a police motorcycle. And this is what's going to be used to transport the evidence. Here, come here. Wow, look at it. Okay, first things first, let's put the evidence in the back of this motorcycle. Okay, now it's safe back here. Ooh, and back here, here's a compartment with a laptop. See, there's a laptop and a printer too. What is this? Oh, look, <laughs> it's a picture for me. Ooh, nice picture. Okay, let's put that down right there. Ooh. Okay, oh, so many cool things to show you. But first, maybe I should hop on. Whoa, whoa, this motorcycle is really big. Way bigger than the average motorcycle. Okay, um, let me show you this. Yeah, kinda wanna show you this first. This is a radar gun. See, this is what's used to check the speed of everyone driving on the road. So you should drive the speed limit or lower because that's the limit of safety. Um, let's see, what else can I show you? Oh yeah, the lights. Watch this, ready? Oh yeah, red and blue lights. That's to let everyone know that there's an emergency. And what else is also used to let everyone know that there's an emergency is the siren. Here we go. 
and then also the horn. Yeah! And then the police officer on the motorcycle took the evidence to the police station. Whoa, look, we're inside the evidence room with our evidence. Hey, how are you? Good. Hey, that's the evidence. What do we do? So we're going to process it for prints. Okay, how do we do that? First, you're going to need your lab coat. Ooh, lab coat. Look. Yeah, it's the color blue. Wow, I like the color blue. It's one of my two favorite colors. Blue is one of them, and orange is the other. All right, now I have my lab coat on. Now what? Now you need your gloves. <laughs> Ooh, gloves. Are they? Okay, they're right here, looks like. Ooh. Look at these, blue rubber gloves. So we wear these so then we don't make our own fingerprints on the evidence. All right, so now I have the gloves on. Now what? Now you're gonna need to fold this brown paper down. Okay. Whoa, here we go, thank you. Whoa, <laughs> brown paper. Okay, all right. So <laughs> now you can come on over to this okay. side. All right, and now, so we have this, we have the paper right here and gloves on. So now what do you need? Now you're gonna need some tools. Okay, let's see. First of all, you're gonna need your print dust. Ooh, look at that, print dust. It's the color black. Whoa, okay. Next, you're gonna need your brush. Brush, look at that brush. Whoa, <laughs> so now what do I do? So take your glass out of the bag. Okay. 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 Now dip your brush into the dust. Okay. Just a little bit. Okay. I've got some dust. Do you see that? Now what? Now paint your brush on your fingerprint like a fairy dancing on the lake. Ooh, fairy dancing on the lake. I like that. You're funny. Okay, here we go. Do do do, do do do. All right. Whoa, it's showing something. Wow. All right. Okay, I'll take that. Okay. And next, you're gonna need your print lifter. Ooh, a print lifter. So, a print lifter looks like a sticker. So, can you hold this for me? Sure. Okay, so now I'm gonna unstick this, and this is really sticky. And then I'm gonna put it right here. Whoa, there we go. Oh, okay. And then, should I peel it off? Gently peel it off. Okay. Just like that. Oh, oh, we did it. Wow, okay, let's close it up like a book. And look at that. Wow, we just pulled a print off of the glass. Yeah, the evidence glass. Okay, so I'll give you that. And okay. then what do we do with the glass now? So the glass needs to go back into a paper bag. Okay, so I'll go get a paper bag. Okay. And yeah, here we go. Let's see. Perfect. Here's the paper bag. There we go. Okay. Now what? Now you need to seal the bag with evidence tape. Okay, evidence tape. Oh, okay, check this out. Evidence tape. Seal it up. All right. It's nice and sealed. Now what? Don't forget to sign it. Oh, gotta sign it. Will you spell my name with me? Ready? B L I P P I. Blippy. Good job. All right. Let's put the pen back. Now that the evidence is all taped up and secure, we need to put it in the evidence vault. Whoa, here I go. What is that? Hello! Flippy! <laughs> hey, I have some evidence for you. Oh, hey. We got the results back of those prints. Oh, whoa. Look at this. It's a photo of a raccoon. So a raccoon ate my lunch.